Hi everyone, this is Dave, N6AFV, and uh, on my Ham Topics YouTube channel, we recently had some comments posted about um, using the enhanced scan mode and some of the features in the setup, and there's a little bit of confusion, it seemed, about how the enhanced scan mode actually worked and what its limitations were. So I decided to do a, a short video here and explain a little bit more about the enhanced scan setup what it can do, what it can't do, and uh, how you use it with both digital and analog modes. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, a couple of things to keep in mind here. The enhanced scan setup is what I'm going to call mode neutral. Uh, it doesn't know if you're interested in doing analog FM or DMR because all you're doing is setting up the scan range, the channel spacing, and the transmit offset if you're interested in that. If you just want to listen, the transmit offset is meaningless. Don't worry about it. The second thing to keep in mind is that you have to have a channel already programmed into the radio, either digital or analog. Uh, if you don't have a channel programmed into the radio, you're not going to be able to do anything with any of the scan or monitor functions or anything else. So my suggestion is to have one analog and one digital channel, call it dummy or whatever you want to call it, and then that's something that you can use with the scan modes, the enhanced, and the other enhanced modes. It just gives you kind of a base to use for that. Uh, you can't switch modes in the middle of a scan, unfortunately. We'll talk about that more when we get to the demo. Before we get into setting up the enhanced scanning mode itself, Let's go quickly up here to button settings in the uh, BFDX uh, CPS software and you'll notice there are four possible button combinations you can use. Button 1, button 2, short press, and long press. Button 1 is the button that's just immediately below the larger push to talk switch. Button 2 is the one below that. Uh, right now my radio is set up so that for enhanced scanning I press button 2 for a long press, and that long press uh, determination time is set up here. Right now it's a thousand milliseconds, so if I hold button 2 down for about a second, it will switch over to enhanced scanning. So just make sure that when you get your CPS and you're programming your radio, that you set up the buttons to do the functions that you want. So for the enhanced scanning, Let's go back to general settings, and if we scroll all the way down at the bottom, we see the enhanced scanning area. For the purposes of the video demonstration, I've put in a pretty narrow frequency range of 446.5, 447.5. I kept the receive to transmit offset at zero. Now, the receive to transmit offset is used if you're primarily looking for repeaters. So let's, uh, let's step back a little bit and talk about how radios are typically set up. Uh, on the West Coast, at least, the almost universally 70 centimeter repeaters are set up so that the, your handheld radio, the radio that you're actually talking through, will transmit at a frequency 5 megahertz higher than the receive frequency. So if your radio was set up to receive on 442 megahertz, when you key up, it will transmit on 447 megahertz. Now, when you're listening to the repeater, you're listening on 442. So, if you have a frequency range set up so that you're listening, say, say 440 to, um, oh, let's say 440 to 442 megahertz, whatever you hear in there, when you go to transmit, you want to transmit 5 megahertz higher. So if that's the case, then where it says receive the transmit offset, you put in 5 megahertz. Now, in other parts of the country and in other countries, the uh, transmit to receive uh, offset is, is the opposite. It's a negative 5 megahertz. But for again, for our discussion, I'm just going to leave this at zero because we're going to be working with, with simplex. And uh, this I don't want to confuse you with what's going on. Next thing you do is set up channel spacing. Now, channel spacing. Um, again, that's kind of a personal preference. The smaller the channel spacing, and you can go down to 2.5 kilohertz if you want, the smaller the channel spacing, the longer it's going to take to scan through the range of frequencies. The larger the channel spacing, 
the more quickly it'll go through the range of frequencies. However, you may skip or miss some frequencies if they're on an odd multiple of uh, six and a quarter, 12 and a half kilohertz. Now, for the purposes of our demonstration, I'm going to go with 100 kilohertz channel spacing. And one of the reasons that I'm doing that is because as I was testing the radios for this demo, I found that when they're very close to one another, um, if I kept the 12 and a half kilohertz channel spacing, the, the signal from the transmitting radio was so strong that it, it caused the, the uh, CS580 to, to um, activate when it was 12 and a half kilohertz off. It just it, it wasn't able to, uh, to reject that signal quite enough. So I go to 100 kilohertz channel spacing and that's worked out very well. So once you have your enhanced scanning set up, the enhanced scanning now, it will work whether you have a digital or an analog channel. So let's just really quick look at uh, some of what I have here. I have some simplex frequencies, and you'll notice I have three FM uh, analog frequencies programmed into the radio, and I have four digital frequencies programmed into the radio. I can use any of these channels with the enhanced scan, and the enhanced scan will use whatever mode is set up for the channel. And then when we go to the actual demonstration, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this is basically how to set it up. You set up your digital channels and, and analog channels however you want. But when you go to one of those channels and activate the enhanced scan, it no longer cares what frequency you have programmed in. It will listen through the entire range and whether if, you, if you're on an analog channel, It'll let you listen to the analog stations. If you're on a digital channel, it'll let you listen to the digital stations. The only weird thing is that if you have it on an analog channel and someone has it and you key up a DMR radio, it'll make a really loud, very annoying sound. And uh, you'll know that there's a, there's a DMR uh, channel there if nothing else. So at this point, we're going to go back to the, uh, the demonstration that shows the radios and how they're actually being used. Right now we have the radio set up on a simplex channel, uh, 446.5, but once I turn on the enhanced scan, then it's going to begin scanning the frequencies between 446.5 and 447.5 megahertz, and we'll use that as our, as our demonstration area. So let me turn on the enhanced scan here. Scanning on. Okay, so now we've started our scan. You can see what it's doing. Now I have another radio that's set to uh, 447 megahertz. Now watch as, as the system goes through and it, I'll key up the radio and we'll see what happens. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna move the microphone over to the radio so that you hear the radio and not the local one. N6AFV, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so let me get this clip back on here. It's going to make a funny noise. It's okay. Alrighty, so that's the analog scan mode. If you have it in the, if you have any analog repeaters or whatever, there you're going to be able to hear them, and um, the the system will work. Now let me show just one more thing here. When I key up, okay, I've keyed up here, and you'll notice it shows a receive and a transmit frequency. That's because the offset that you've programmed into the system will automatically be put into the radio. So for example, if you were set to receive on, let's say you're receiving signal on 442 and you had a 5 megahertz offset in the general settings there under advanced scan, or enhanced scan rather, then it would show a transmit frequency of 447 megahertz. In this case, we are using it in the simplex mode, so there is no offset. Now, just for fun, I'm going to switch to a DMR channel. And with when the DMR channel, things sound a little bit different. So let me move the microphone over again, and you can hear what happens. So if you hear that when you're scanning through the channels, then you know that you've picked up a DMR transmission and um, you might want to switch over to a, to a digital channel to hear that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out of the scan mode 
and I'm going to turn to a, a DMR channel. And in this case, you notice it says DMR 441 megahertz. But when I turn on the enhanced scan, it's going to totally ignore that. And you're going to see that the enhanced scan will start scanning, scanning on. the range that we programmed in previously, 446.5 to 447. So now when I key up the radio, and I'm going to take the mic off again and hold it, hold it near the radio. N6 AFV. Testing. One, two, one, two three, three, four, four five. five. So again, it picked up the DMR scan. Now just for fun, if I go back to my, my uh, analog um, transmitter here, now watch, watch what happens when I key up. Notice it'll pause briefly on 447 megahertz, but it recognizes that it's not a digital signal, so it just keeps on going. So at this point, as far as I know, there is no way to make the CS580 automatically switch modes between digital and analog. I think that would be a great feature if it could be implemented into the next firmware update, but for right now, you can look for analog or digital, but you can't look for both at the same time. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you'd like to get updates whenever new videos are posted, please subscribe to the channel. And whenever I pop something new on there, you'll get an email that tells you that it's available to watch. 73 from Dave, N6AFB.